Hi, my name is David Weiss and I'm a senior curriculum designer here at Dreambox and I'm very excited to be sharing with you our new volume lessons. We start in third grade in basically the same place that Archimedes did when he jumped out of the bathtub and shouted Eureka with fluid displacement. The idea is that we give kids concrete objects with which they have a lot of familiarity and we ask them to sort these objects by volume. We give them a container that can measure the volume of the objects in by submerging the objects, see how much fluid is displaced. Once students get a sense of what matters, what attributes matter when you're trying to figure out the volume of something, is it the height? Is it the weight? Is it the size? Is it the shape? Once students have a handle on volume, we give them some problem solving activities with volume. The idea is they have uh, containers full of fluid. One of them is known, one of them is unknown and they're trying to figure out how much fluid is in the unknown container. We give them a little bit more information than that, and then they're good to go. Once students have solved a few of those problem-solving activities, and we think they've really kind of mastered the basic ideas around volume, we give them mass lessons. We give them the same objects they saw before in the volume lessons, but now they're trying to figure out and sort these objects by mass instead of volume. We give them a scale so they can measure the objects, that way students get a sense of what makes an object more massive. They get some information, they do some sorting, they compare different units of mass. Then we have students compare mass and volume directly. We give them a pair of objects and they try to decide which object is bigger, which object is heavier. Once students have done a bunch of comparison to mass and volume, that's kind of it for third grade. We move into fifth grade content where students are working out the volume of prisms by putting blocks or unit cubes into those prisms. So I don't know if you imagine trying to do this as a teacher, but imagine a very large container and you've got all these different blocks in the classroom. It just would be a logistical nightmare to be able to do with a real classroom. But with Dreambox, those blocks are put away at the end of the night for you. So super handy. And students get the benefit of directly trying to measure the volume of objects using unit cubes. So they get a really good, strong foundation in what volume means when they're multiplying those dimensions together to work out the volume of an object. But of course, that's not the ending place. That's just the starting place for volume of prisms. We move on to students solving the, for the volume of prisms using equations. Take these dimensions. What's the volume gonna be? Oh, not quite sure? Well, we'll show you the cubes again so you can make the relationship between the equations that you're working on and those cubes we were looking at before. So the students understand that the volume formula doesn't just come out of nowhere, that it has some relationship to what they know already. Anyway, these volume lessons are gonna be terrific. I'm really excited to see what you think of them. Please let us know, give us some feedback. We'd love to hear it. Thanks so much.